In this video, I'll show you how to create custom bracket order for TWS. So the goal of this is to control your risk better by placing your stop and also your profit target ahead of time and not just being random with your trade. So as usual, I'll link all the best tools to day trade in the description. So if you're looking for brokers, scanner charts or newsfeed, don't forget to check that out and let's get right in. So for this example, what we're going to be looking at is the simulated account um, just because I was actually testing some other orders and I found out that this could help me in certain cases so I wanted to share it with you. For the bracket order, the only thing you really need is the order window over here. And also, this is going to be your position window. If you don't have this open, just go into your new window over here and just go into your order entry over here. And the other one is going to be order management. So when this is done, the next thing you want to be doing is go over here. So over here, quantity, let's put uh, 500, for example, and limit price right now, we see that the price is 1735. So maybe we're looking to get filled at 1720 with a stop at 17 and also a profit target at 18. So right now we said we're looking for 1725 maybe to get filled. So you can also just type it, which is what I prefer to do and just press enter. The next thing you want to be doing is either if it's a day or good to cancel. GTC means the order is always going to be live until it gets filled. It's, ne it's never going to get canceled. So this is going to be over here or you want it to only work for today. So good till cancel because we don't know when this is going to happen. And then the following thing is just click on advance and attach stop loss and profit target. Just click enter. Then you can add your profit target at 18 we said and also your stop loss we said was going to be 17 and just like that you could be pretty much all done with this so there's a few options that you can add and i think they're pretty important so over here good till cancel this is what i put there and also fill outside of regular trading hours allow pre-market overnight and so on these are all the options that you can choose i like to have good till cancel so the next thing you want to be doing over here is look at the destination if you're using the smart order or smart route, you're not gonna get any kind of rebate mainly, but if you wanna get like a better rebate, you can look at something like Arca, but this is always gonna depend you know, on your strategy. But if you wanna find out about fees and rebate, if you're looking at Arca, for example, on stock greater than a dollar, you're getting 0 0.002 as a rebate. And if you're removing, that means taking liquidity, you're paying that price on top of your order, depending on the structure you have for commission. So going back over here, I want this to be example on Arca and I want my stop to just be a stop. So a stop like this means it's going to be a stop market. And this works perfectly for me because anyways, stop don't work in the pre and post market hours. And when this is done, you can just click over here and then just send it. So for this purpose, what I want to be doing is just make sure that this gets filled uh, just so the example works. So right now everything is still the same. So then you can just go ahead and just purchase it, say bye. And now we can see that this order has been filled and now you have your limit order to sell at 18 and also a stop at 17. So now your order is set. You don't have to do anything about that. And it's going to be right here and it's not going to be canceled at any point unless you do it. So something that you can do is if ever you decide that maybe you say, oh, 17 is too low for my stop. I want to keep it at 1725. So what you could do is just go over here and just you can erase it. I just put 1725 press enter and you'd only need to click update and now you have a new stop at 1725 so you could also do the same exact thing for your profit taking and these are going to be linked together so you see 5.2 and 5.1 so that means if one execute it's going to be canceling the other one so this is pretty much how these bracket order works. I think they're pretty good overall if you're someone that really trades more passive strategy because if you trade momentum, this is going to be a bit slow to do. So you're going to have to do it in another way or just do it manually after by sending your, your first order to get in and then adjusting where you want to get out and so on and so forth. So that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoy, like and subscribe. I'll link all the best tools for day trading in the description. So if you're looking for a broker, scanner, charts, or newsfeed, don't forget to check that out. Peace.